This is Susan Bradley for Ask Woody. I'm here tonight to demonstrate that you can set up a Windows 11 22H2 or 2022, whichever way you want to call it, without a Microsoft account. And first I'm going to demonstrate with a home machine. Now I'm going to set up, this is in a virtual machine, this is not what it's going to look like in your normal situation. Um, and first I'm going to show you what it's like without an internet connection because I found that you couldn't use the old workaround. The old workaround was to set up a machine without an internet connection and it would let you set it up without a, a Microsoft account. That no longer works and I'll show you the screen where you get to where you're kind of stuck and you can't go any farther. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to set up Windows. I'm going to say install now. And mind you, this should also work if you buy a Windows 11 with a 22H2 code in it. For purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to say I don't have a product key. And I'm going to pick Windows 11 Home. Now we already know that Windows 11 Pro, you can get around the mandate for a Microsoft account. But I specifically want to see what it's like with Windows 11 Home. So we're going to hit Next. And of course, you accept the end user license agreement. And we're going to say custom. And again, there's my, my dynamically expanding hard drive for purposes of this test. And it's going to do its thing and it's copying, going to copy its files. So this part is pretty normal if you've ever installed Windows 10, Windows 8.1. Um, you'll see the same kind of screen where it gets the file's ready to go and it takes its little time. So I'm going to pause this because you don't need to see this part. It's kind of boring. Uh, it literally looks the same as Windows 10, so there's nothing new here. And I'm going to get to the part where it starts asking you questions about, you know, your username and things like that. So we're going to pause and we're going to come back when I'm ready to show you the interesting part of this process. Now, if you have a brand new 22H2 Windows 11, you'll start at this point, so you won't be installing Windows 11. And of course, you'll pick what country you're located, so go ahead and pick that and say yes. And you're going to pick the keyboard layout, and we're going to skip on adding a second keyboard. Now the old trick where you would not be connected to the internet right at this point doesn't work anymore. So you'll need to have some sort of internet connection. Now that can be wired, wireless, you can hang off your cell phone. And now it gets to the point where it asks you what name do you want your device to be. You can skip that and come back and change that later. Now comes to the important part. Now this is where it's going to ask for a setting up a Microsoft account and there's a very special way to do it and right at it gets to this screen where it wants you to set up a Microsoft account. You have to be a little bit patient. Click on sign in and right at this screen say type in no at thank you So the key is type in no at thankyou.com, click next, type in any password, just build it, it doesn't matter. It's going to say, oops, something has went wrong. It locked the account, try again later, click next. And guess what? You went past that screen and it no longer requires a Microsoft account. So from here, you can just type in your name. And again, this is going to be the local login. Type in a password. Now this one you want to be a, um, you can remove the password later, but for now we have to put in a password. I'm going to do a quick and easy one. Let's try that again and not screw it up. It's going to ask you to set up security questions. I 
Again, we're gonna go through the security questions. I'm just picking any old thing. And from here, we're now into the privacy questions and you want to go and read these things. Um, because from a lot of these, you may want to say no. So location-based experiences. Do you want Windows and apps request your location? I'm going to say no. So if, especially if you have a desktop computer, you don't need to do find my device. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say um, don't turn on optional diagnostic data. I don't want to do inking and typing. I'm going to turn off tailored experiences. I'm going to turn off advertising ID. We're going to accept all of that. Once again, it checks for updates. It's going to reboot. And as you can tell, what the key is, is the key is to using a, an email account, a Microsoft account that's been locked out. And the thankyou.com is a company's domain. The email address of no at thankyou.com has been locked. And that's how they get around it. And there you have it. And this is now a local user account. Local, <clears throat> excuse me, local account. And it is not a Microsoft account. And this is a Windows home PC. I will demonstrate right here. Windows 11 Home, and it's a local account without a Microsoft account. Again, it can be done. You just have to know the trick. Till next time, this is Susan Bradley for AskWoody.com.